we go. Um, Monday the 25th of June today. Right. So that was a full afternoon yesterday and a full morning this morning. And this heat reading the front of the the front of the house garage one solid flower bed and I, I honest to goodness I am so glad that is out of the way right let's go hey guys I'm going to be putting on into individual pots these two pepper plants that were sown by seeds from seeds small peppers now they're tiny tiny small but miniature but um like miniature bell peppers wee tiny ones multicolored and i took some seeds off them from shop bought last year guys so i'm going to pot these two up directly now over at my willy wonka tree i don't know if you can see there where you've got the multiple pots all different colours on. The heat at that side where the tree is is red hot in the summertime. So I was trying to think as in what to grow or what would grow in these extreme temperatures and I have came across this lovely little plant two or three days ago. Portulaca. Porch. <laughs> Portulaca. Portulaca maybe. Anyway, there we go. It's like a little succulent type plant. And I'm going to try my hardest to split it. Now you can take cuttings no problem from succulents. Uh, I'll possibly do that in another video. Not today. Too much to do. Now guys, I'll get back to you in a wee minute, okay? Because I have to put on a few other things and I'm not quite sure right at this minute in time what it is that I have to be putting on. So I'll have a wee look and then we will regroup shortly, shortly. Excuse me. I want to try and get this in as quick as possible. This is the chilli that I've taken out of the pot where the outside tomatoes etc were. And the other plants. Not chillies. Uh, not chillies. I don't think peppers. Where are the peppers and the bolotti beans and whatever is? This one was in the middle and I think it's not been getting as much sun as the rest. Now the compost that's already in here I have give it a wee mix about and put some feed in for this little pepper plant which we have no idea what it is. And I was expecting them all to be chillies and so far no chillies on any of them. But lovely peppers indeed, so that will get a good watering shortly and then I'll keep it in the courtyard and we'll see if it comes on any better than My giant pansies a couple of days ago, I was obviously deadheading, which I do every day and there was some lovely seed heads uh, I'll put a picture up at the minute and show you exactly what they're like when they're dried out So I took a bunch of them, I've saved some seeds Sorry about the noise, guys. Anybody want roast chicken? Well, that's wee Agnes that's making that noise. Anyway, I did throw some seeds in that was uh, about six days ago of giant pansies, and uh, as you can see, they've all started coming up. So they'll get a quick watering as well. Yes. Be all right at the minute. One in each of them. These four here were very slow in starting, I must say. There's not much rootage either. Gently does it. But in we go. Let's see if a new pot of fresh compost will help. Compost is absolutely roasting. Anyway, there's one. And it does say on the multicoloured tomatoes and peppers. 
So that's probably a small pepper that's in there as well and not a chilli. Oh dear. So much, 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 much to do, guys. And so very, very little time. But I am hoping that after this fortnight is by with, I can calm down a bit. I really do need some rest. I get no sleep at the minute. I get no sleep most nights anyway because I'm a bit of an insomniac that I've said before. But with this heat, it's been even worse, honestly. I could have cried last night in the middle of the night. Crossing and turning, just not getting comfy. Yeah, that's two of them. But there'll be loads of you out there that will be in the same boat, I would imagine. But if these pains just start to go away, instead of coming back again, I really need these pains to go away. It was this time last year, I think. Yes, it was. That we found out about all the kidney carry on. And I do not want another summer like last year where I was virtually unable to do hee-haw as we say in Scotland, hee-haw nothing and it wasn't very nice so we shall see but not feeling too grand today at all and no farm today because uh, Sally and her hubby Roger are away on a flight, I think, it, I think, and I assume it's a UK somewhere, England somewhere, to watch the Rolling Stones in concert. And Sally is um, obsessed with them. So they're away sometime today and back on Wednesday. And with me feeling like this, I am very glad that tomorrow when I do go to the farm, I am on my own. I don't need to have anybody to speak to. I don't have to talk to anybody. This is large leaf Italian basil. Oh, the smell is absolutely amazing. If the kids here and my sister being here, then obviously they'll be wanting to go to the water and to see a bit of where Auntie Clarice lives. So helping out on the farm at the Jeets, which need finished, one of them needs finished for the middle of next week. Um, as a priority for Sally, but not for myself, if you know what I mean. But she has said, now you, everybody that watch, watches my channel, you have seen the lake, you have seen the boat, or the boats, the pedalos, um, the small beach, etc. You've seen all them. So I thought, rather than let her down, and I don't like to let people down, but at the same time, I do not want to let my sister or the kids down either by not being here. So, I haven't spoken to her about it yet, but she won't bother, I don't think, when she comes. Um, I'm going to take my sister and the kids along with me, and while I spend a couple of hours finishing the jeets off, my sister and the kids have got free rain, and they have the beach area, boats, the island, etc, etc, all to themselves for the time that I will be working away inside so I doubt very much that they will mind one little bit I have got a few toys different things here that I bought that they can take along my sister can chillax oh the smell the smell, the smell, the smell pizzas tomato sauce passata oh your bolognese, oh here we come Hopefully, hopefully, they get bigger. Oh, see, magnifique. Hmm. Smelly vision is needed when we've got stuff like this.
this and tomatoes, the smell of tomatoes as well, the plants when you brush them or cutting the side bits off. Well, there we go, they'll get a wee water in a bit. Now we have this plant here, let's tip it out, it's quite dry as you would expect for this plant. So there we go, I'll be back in a moment. Ah, there you go, I'll be back in a moment. There's my pots guys, sorry about the sunshine, it's absolutely blending, so we'll get four of them in some of the pots, as you can see there, that has wilted already in the heat, because it's not the ideal time for moving things, but that's marigolds that I'd grown from seed, and they were beautiful, healthy specimens, until I put them in there, but we'll see if they pick up or not. And up the top, because we do have spare plants here and nasturtium that I found in one of the pots because I didn't have enough of those other I ones. I do manage to see more succulents or actually cactus is what I was looking for when I was out and about. Then I will replace the top two with them. But at the minute, that's them potted up. And I have gave them a really good watering. Let the water soak away and I've given them a top mulch of hemp straw. Stop them drying out so much and keep some of the moisture in. So there you go guys. All I've got to do now is sort out my bird feeders and we're good to go. So I've got tons of things to be doing in the house guys. And I want to try and get what I've got in my wee list done today. Some of our Cabbages, calabrese, purple sprouting. We'll get in a wee bit of water. There's some Romanesco in there that I forgot all about. And today's potting on of chilies basil. Well, I think it's chilli. I'm hoping it's chilli as we only have the one plant this year. And what I did forget the other day was Scott Huey's... Um, Sapomiro tatties, the tatty seeds that he sent me, they have all came up. I'm sure I'm missing a couple of pots somewhere and I'm so sorry but uh, I never videoed it guys and I wish I had because there is at least two or three I think. I've just potted them on the other day but there's two or three of them with actual little tatties on them. It's a shame I didn't video it and I don't want to really move them again, so just trust me on it. There is tatties in some of those pots and they've now been in there for about oh, three, four days, I think. So I hope you enjoyed that wee update, just potting up and potting on and a wee blather. So till the next time, guys, take care of yourself. Lots of au revoir, toodle pip and bye-bye.